Welcome back to my show. I'm The Beer Adventure. And I'm Lunchbox. And this one is another one of the Aldi beers. This is McGuire's Draft Stout. All, Aldi? Aldi has beer? Oh, yes. You have not graced my Aldi's playlist. Look for a uh, link to that. Um, the weird thing about Aldi's is if you get their beer, it's cheap and they're usually pretty good. There's been one or two that was like, eh, that wasn't that great. But overall, the Aldi's beers are really pretty good. It's kind of weird. Um, you can, the easiest way to tell whether it's truly an Aldi's beer is almost all of them are from, I think I'm pronouncing this right, Wanaki, Wisconsin, and they're all from like State of Brewing. Mm -hmm. But every now and then you'll find some that are actually uh, like German imported beers, which okay. there's one of those that I just love. And uh, my Where's that one from. made? This one's in, uh, this one's from Wisconsin. Okay. Um, so... We've got ourselves a nice dark stout. Oh, yes. And uh, I am a stout fan. Now, I, I, I drink a lot of barrel-aged stouts, too. But the other night, I just had a regular stout just hanging out at the house. And so... I love the color I of the I also had uh, some nice whiskey. So I just poured some whiskey in my stout... <laughs> I love the color of the head when it's that nice caramel color. Mm-hmm. Oh, it smells very toasted. Okay. It's kind of weak. <laughs> it's a lot weak. So, it has a beautiful color and, and smell to it. But it kind of tastes watered down. I think it feels more watered down than it tastes. Maybe. It yeah, does, it yeah is, the feel. I mean, it's it's 4.2. And, I mean, this one is either begging for, like, the milk sugars or maybe, like, some oatmeal. Um, Something to thicken it up. It's, it needs more mouthfeel. I would definitely say that. It's not very robust. Mm -mm. Especially for a stout. I mean, it does have a decent taste, and mm. I think I paid seven bucks for the six pack. Oh, it's only four point two. Yeah. Um, but the mouthfeel is known. very, very, very thin. Yes. Um. So this was not one of the better Aldi beers, which makes for kind of you, you can't win them all. Like it makes for kind of chuggability. But I don't really yeah. chug stouts. Yeah, if I'm going to chug something, I'm not going to choose a stout. Okay, wait a minute. Actually, I do chug stouts. I do a big uh, Guinness chug every uh, St. Patrick's Day. But, I mean, this has the poundability of, like, a nice light lager. And I didn't anticipate that from this dark. But it doesn't have toasted. that flavor. <laughs> it's, it's just, like, super, super, it has super a mild. It has the dark, toasty flavor of a stout. It just does not have it. It doesn't have the feel. In the same volume or feel. Um, now, I would say that if you have a friend that's worried about, like, oh, stouts are so heavy. First, that means they've not drank stouts. But then you can be like, here, try this one. It's not heavy at all. Right. Um, I don't know. It is It is a little bit lackluster. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just... Yeah, it doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't taste as full as I want it to for a stout. Well, my, my main problem is the mouthfeel is like tea. Yes, <laughs> that is a good example. It's, it's, it's one and done. Um, so, it's like a summer weight stout or something. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's like some of those, you know, like like the Founder's Breakfast Stout. It has that real silky, smooth mouth. Yeah, feel. where's that? This this isn't there. Founder's is American. Yeah. Why can't y'all do that? Well, they wouldn't be able to sell it for like seven bucks a six pack. And then make money. <laughs> um, you know. Well, I will see what I can find to put in there. Uh, in the description. Also, you'll find all my links 
a merch store, social media, all that. Um, you guys tell us, does Aldi's have a favorite beer? Do you have a favorite Aldi's beer? Yeah. What is it? And, and check out my Aldi's playlist. I've been finding a bunch of beers there, and I get them. I've had some stouts from there. There's a chocolate lava cake stout that was fucking rad. They have a milk stout that uh, actually my mom buys and drinks. Nice. She likes the milk stout. Um, go on. And, you know, they've got some really good beers. Uh, this one's just kind of low on the list. I don't dislike it, but it's just like, eh, meh, whatever. Meh, meh. Um, so, I mean, we've pretty much discussed this one about as much. This is going to be a short one. Be sure to check out the Aldi playlist. Give that a look. And uh, so, let's go. Did you dig it? Mad. Not so much. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not mad, but I'm not. Like, I know I've got five more. And I'm like, ah, okay, cool. I'll drink them. Oh. You know, would you have another? I've got five more. I'm going to drink them. I'm not going to be upset. I'd probably pass. But am I going to look for this one again? Not really. They have so many other ones that I like more. Um, and let's see. Uh, it's all these. You can't do a pick six. So we leave that out. But let's just go ahead and rate them. I rate all of them one to ten. You're at four? I'm at a five. Four. I'm at a five. It is average. Yeah. It's average. Um, it's inexpensive, and it's okay. I'm penalizing you for calling it a stout. It is a stout. It's just not a great <laughs> stout. I mean, there is nothing stout about it. <laughs> Except for kind of a toasty flavor on it. <laughs> I don't know. It seems to me a little more like a porter. But... Porters, to me, tend to have a, a thinner mouthfeel. But, heck, I've had some porters that had so much better mouthfeel than this and were so much stronger. Uh, but Yeah. that The bottom line is, it's a meh beer at a good price. Okay. That's all there is to it. Yeah, if you just prefer this flavor in, in a, a lighter beer. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a lightweight. You're like, this is a summer weight stout, man. This is the stout version of shorts. Well, there it is. Well, there you go, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers.